First question is from Fenton Carey. I have a lot of inflammation after working out. Are there any supplements you recommend for recovery that will help reduce some of the inflammation? Okay, so uh, first I'll answer the question directly, but then let's talk about the main root, like most important ways you can reduce this, this or, or help ameliorate this problem. So, okay, direct question: Are there certain supplements that you can that you can take? Yeah, um, omega three fatty acids, uh, probably uh, things with turmeric. Uh, mm -hmm. might actually help. Um, Organifi makes a product called Move that I've actually noticed uh, makes a difference with stiffness and inflammation, and the ingredients in it are legit. Obviously, it's a company we work with, so we really believe in them. Um, and I've had clients, uh, not clients, excuse me, uh, listeners tell me that they've used the Move, and after about two to four weeks of using it, they notice pretty significant uh, improvements. But let's talk more now about the root cause of uh, inflammation and why uh, we need to deal with that first. Mm. Supplements, you know, some supplements can help and especially the ones that like Organifi's move, they help by giving you a more healthy inflammatory process. But we got to look, we got to go back a little deeper and look at why you may be feeling more inflammation. And the first culprit would be that your workout is probably inappropriate for your body. You're not moving well. You're not priming your body mm. properly. You can, uh, if you do proper priming and you work out appropriately, you should not feel more inflamed right after your workout. Your joints should not hurt after your workout. You should feel better than you did going into the workout. So well, that's I always also want to know, you know, the nutrition, the diet that uh, you're bringing into these workouts and what that looks like on a consistent basis. But, you know, there's also the point too that. Uh, a bit it, like how much of the inflammation is it? Because like some of it is necessary in order to uh, signal to the body that you need to adapt and change. Uh, so we don't want to completely eliminate, uh, you know, the inflammation after the workouts. But uh, I, if it's an excess and it feels like, you know, it's really affecting your joints and stiffness. Yes, that's a problem. We need to address that. The other people to, to address, too, is your, your advanced lifter who's uh, training intensely a lot. Uh, I, the most inflammation that I ever battled, uh, even more so having a poor diet or whatever it was, uh, when I was competing, when I was competing, I was always pushing the threshold. I was always, you know, overreaching because I was trying to, you know, take my body to the next level. So I flirted with that, you know, too much intensity, too much load, you know, not enough days off, not enough mobility and the joints and inflammation were the worst at that period of time for me than ever. So, you know, if you're also somebody who's a, you know, maybe you diet well, you eat really good and clean but you train really hard five, seven days a week and you don't give your body adequate rest and you're not doing like mobility or you're constantly hammering and you're not kind of phasing out of types of routines that can happen a lot too. Like I see this common with clients that <clears throat> love to lift heavy. They love to train, uh, you know, super, super heavy weight. And then they get just, they're, they're overstressing their joints, then causing inflammation in the body. So things like that to watch out for, not just diet too. Yeah. Now I want to touch on uh, what Justin was saying about, you know, trying to block inflammation all the time. Not a good idea. So if we look at like uh, drugs, uh, over-the-counter drugs, uh, like NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, like ibuprofen, uh, naproxen, those do block inflammation quite effectively. Now, the problem with that is inflammation is also an important signaler in the body. It tells the body to build. It tells the body to repair. And so we do have studies that show that it lowers the muscle building signal. And over time, people who have joint issues, who take these products uh, every time they train, we actually start to see their joints get much worse over time because the inflammatory process lets the body know we need to strengthen, rebuild, uh, and repair this area. Not to mention uh, the signal that inflammation sends you, which is, hey, don't move this way. So if I got bad knees and I'm numbing myself with uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, that will allow me to continue to move in the way that's causing inflammation. That's going to cause problems over time. So you should pay attention uh, to these things. Now, dietary speaking, if your fatty acid profile is off for some people, that causes problems, meaning you have too many omega-6s, not enough omega-3s uh, in your diet. Uh, a high sugar diet for some people, in my experience, can cause inflammation. For me, a diet that's very high in grains uh, over time can definitely cause inflammation. So when I bring that down and have more fruits, vegetables, 
and uh, fats and proteins, I notice way less inflammation. When I eat a ketogenic diet, now I'm not saying ketogenic diet is the best for performance or muscle building. I think it's not the best for those. In fact, I think it's one of the worst ones for that. But in terms of inflammation, one of the weird side effects of eating ketogenic is I just don't get sore. It's really strange. In fact, when I reintroduce carbohydrates, I start to get more sore. So if you're battling this really bad chronic inflammation and your diet's high in grains and carbohydrates, you can even mess around and see how you feel on a, on a healthy ketogenic type diet and see if that, that solves that particular issue. But for most people listening, um, you're just not working out appropriately, probably, and you're probably not priming your body uh, properly. Those are usually the reasons why the average person is just too stiff or inflamed after a workout.